YouTube. I crashed my best friend's car animation store. It was good. If you aren't subscribed already, you should subscribe to the channel. I do a variety of things. A lot of things. Right now, I can't do none right now because it's quarantine. You know? But I got some I got some videos cooking. Just make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be pausing too much, man. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Let's go. Bam! It's the side of the bridge. It's windy. I'm screaming. He's struggling to fix the car. And then I see sparks on the right side of the window. We are scraping the side of the bridge. <laughs> so this story took place maybe about like two to three summers ago. I was visiting my hometown of sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy Charleston, South Carolina. The weather is pretty broken there. I'm chilling in the hotel and then one of my good homies hits my phone around 8 p.m. Yo, 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 I know you in town. You trying to link? We should go somewhere. And I'm like, say less. Soon after he pulls up. Also, he drives this minivan thing. I'm not a car person, so I don't know exactly what it is. Unfortunately, this information will be necessary later on in this story. He picks me up, we go get something to eat, we skip rocks, chop it up for a bit. Nothing but straight up vibes. The lake was calm and the night sky was tranquil. And then out of nowhere, it just starts to rain heavily, bro. Just whoosh. <laughs> was that a rain sound effect? It starts to rain because South Carolina weather. So we decide to wrap it up and head home. Like so that. he's driving me back and to get to the lake we went to, we had to drive across the Cooper River Bridge, which is this huge bridge that goes over the, the Cooper River. Duh, are you paying attention? So he's driving back and I'm like, let me drive the car. I ask him if I can drive the car home. I can't drive, but I'm, I'm trying to learn. It's around 10 p.m. and they're like, no cars on the road. So yeah, I figured, you know, now would be a great yeah, time to practice. Why did I think that driving on a 250 foot tall bridge with the fast speed limit in the rain was a good idea? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't make good decisions. So my friend pulls over, we switch seats and boom, I'm driving the whip and it's smooth sailing, like literally just a straight shot. The problem is near the peak of the bridge, it's like really high above the ground. And remember that storm? Well, now we're like a hundred feet closer to it. So it's mad windy, but it's normal for people to drive on the bridge and have to slightly steer their car in the opposite direction of the wind. So the wind doesn't push the car, especially if the car you're driving is tall. At the time, I didn't know that. So I'm driving and since it's windy, the car starts to steer to the right. And before I start to flip. Oh, it's a little windy, bro. Just turn the wheel a bit when that happens. He reaches over and steers the car for me. So we drive for a bit more and then a gust of wind hits the car and I'm like, <laughs> I was prepared for this. I casually grab the wheel and I swerve the car to the left, man. I completely overestimated the power of the wind, bro. The car just jerks to the left. Dude, what are you doing? Don't turn that much, go to the right. And this, this is where my friend messed up. I get that I'm about to drive your car off a bridge but you don't need to yell at me, okay? I'm nervous. I don't do good under pressure. Hey, Johannes, I don't oh, want to bother God. you, but it would behoove the both of us if you slightly turn the car to the right. See how much better that was? So after he rudely let me know that I'm about to kill the both of us, I freak out and swerve to the right. But now we're turning oh in the direction God. of the strong wind while 250 feet in the air yo yo go left go left and with all of these commands in my ear all of this wind all of this pressure i do what any sane human being would do if the car that they were driving on a 250 foot bridge was out of control in the rain you stop the car i panic take my hands off the wheel and scream so my friend reaches over and gets the car kind of straight but bam it's the side of the bridge it's windy i'm screaming he's struggling to fix the car and then i see sparks on the right side of the window we are scraping the side of the bridge and i realize why i never took my foot off the pedal if anything the stress exactly. is making me step hard so my friend's like dude just stop the car i slam on the brake but inertia so we swerve to the left but after violently spinning the car stops he gets out and doesn't say a word i do the same we switch spots and he <laughs> takes me home i'd like to say i 
didn't mess up his car, but like, I refuse to believe that there was no damage. But at the same time, he, he never said anything about the damage and I've talked to him since, like he's a homie, he's probably gonna watch this. But in order to help my conscience, I'm just gonna assume that the car is totally fine. And if not, well, he's technically the one that swerved to the left. Oh, wow. Paying too much for meds. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, when people be driving, something like that happens, why not just press the brake? Like, I've been seeing tons of videos of like people driving and the car just go out of control, and instead of just stopping the car, they smash on the gas and just like hit the rail, and it's like the car jersey just like bust off and just cause tons of more problems. Like, all that could have been solved if you just, you know what I'm saying, just press the brake. But hey, humans, you know what I'm saying? I don't get them. You know what I'm I, uh, couldn't be me. If you ever got in a car accident, let me know. If you ever got in any car problems at all, put it down in the comment section below. Also, if you got any other videos you want me to react to, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. If you don't know me, I go by the number two ironic. And I'm out. Then I, huh?